Aqidah is anything that the heart binds firmly to. Anything that binds tightly to the heart, it is called an aqidah. Irrespective of whether it is good or bad. Because the word aqidah in and of itself doesn't indicate that something is true or false. So, for example, the Jews have an aqidah. The Christians have an aqidah. The Buddhists have an aqidah. The atheists and materialists, they have an aqidah. Aqidah simply means anything that is bound and tied to the heart. So even the atheist, the mulhid, the dahri, he has an aqidah as well. Everybody has an aqidah. So the word aqidah is simply that which the heart is tied and binds fast to. So this means that aqidah, an aqidah can be fasida. It can be corrupt and evil. It can be batil. It can be corrupt and evil and false. And likewise, an aqidah can be true, truthful. And so for this reason, we, we, what we are interested in is what is the sound, correct, Sunni, Salafi, Athari, Aqidah, that the deen of Islam, that the, 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 the Sahaba were upon, and that the, the scholars of Islam were upon. This is what we are pursuing. This is what we want to know. This is what we want to make sure that our hearts are embracing this specific Aqidah, aqidah in all of its details. And anyone who turns away from this, then this person is upon khurafa, he's upon deviation, and he's upon bid'ah and dalala. And so therefore the goal of every single Muslim is that he should be asking, what was it that the Sahaba believed? What was it that the Imams were upon? What was it that they said regarding Al-Qadr? What was it that they said regarding Allah's attributes? What was it that they said regarding Allah being seen in the hereafter? This is how every Muslim ought to be thinking. If every Muslim was to think like this, then inshallah by Allah's mercy, he would be guided to that which is correct. If he was thinking, if he was truly thinking like this, and he was seeking and pursuing that which is correct.